Hello Year 8, I hope you're all doing okay and you're staying safe during this lockdown. Um, so as you can see from this first slide, welcome back to school. So I'm looking forward to welcome, welcoming all of Waterhead Academy students back on the week commencing the 8th of March, which is next week. So it's exciting for us all to be welcoming you back to school next week. We want to thank you all for your hard work and engagement with the remote learning. We know it's been difficult, we know that, but together we can overcome it. Remember we are here to help and support through your learning journey at Waterhead Academy through hard work, teamwork and resilience. We will be even better learners. So, you will be returning next Thursday year eight, and I will be telling you some more information about that in a second. But, when you come back, just remember... We are here to support you, myself, Mr. Small, all of your form teachers and all of your class teachers. It's been a difficult time in lockdown. You haven't had teaching one-to-one. -one. Uh, you haven't been fa uh, faced in front of the class. So you've been working from your laptop. So it is obviously going to be a slight change, but we cannot wait to obviously get you back in. Right, team values and so preparing your return to school, okay? It has been a long time since you was in school. So here are a couple of reminders and how you can get yourselves prepared for next week because you might be used to um, waking up a little bit later if the day's not starting until like 9.50. So you might be staying in bed a bit longer, you might be going to bed a little bit later, not in your usual eating pattern, not even your usual routine. So what you need to do this week and over the weekend ready for and the beginning of next week before you come in on Thursday, you need to normalise your sleeping pattern, okay? Try to go to bed at a reasonable time so you are getting up in the morning and you are used to getting up because obviously as of the Thursday, you will, as of obviously the Friday and the week after, you were back in school full time where you know you need to be here at 8.30 in the morning, okay? So you need to get back into those sleeping patterns that you have. Get up, get your, uni get your uniform washed and ready. So make sure that you look at your uniform that you haven't worn since before Christmas. Make sure it's all washed, make sure it's all ready to go and it's ready that you have got everything available for you. So on that first day back, you're not coming in without school uniform. It's not acceptable. Everybody will be in full school uniform, okay, when they return to school. Right. Safety first. Have you got enough face masks for each day of the week? Have you returned your consent form for testing? So make sure that, that those consent forms that I sent in the Teams channel and that I've sent to emails to you all, make sure them consent forms are filled in and completed. So on that first day back, on that Thursday, you are ready for your testing, okay? It is very important that, and I'm going to talk more about that as the, as the PowerPoint goes on. Make sure you've got your face masks, okay? Everybody needs to wear a face mask in school, and again, I will come to that in, later on in this PowerPoint. Get your school bag ready, okay? Make sure all your equipment's there, so two black pens, two red pens, pencil, ruler, sharpener, rubber, pencil case. You've got like a notepad just in case you need it. You've got some folders for your own worksheets, etc., etc. Make sure you've got everything ready that you need for school. Make sure your PE kit is sorted. Make sure you've got everything. You should not be coming to school without a bag. Okay, with all your equipment inside that bag. And last of all, ready your mindset. It's been a long time since you've been in school. And I'm pretty sure that some of you will be a little bit nervous. I'm sure some of you will be really excited. So it's just important that you prepare yourself and get ready for our return to school. Myself, I cannot wait for all the pupils to be back in and to get back to a bit of normality with teaching in school. Okay, so remember though, our team values, this is what we live by in the academy, okay? It's responsibility, determination, and success. We need to work together as students, as teachers, to make the most of every single day. We need to be responsible for everything we do. We need to be determined in all we do, and we need to be successful in everything we do, okay? Can we also discuss how we show respect in everything. That is the main thing with Waterhead Academy year, year 8, is responsibility, determination, success, and being respectful. Okay? Right then, let's talk about your return to school. So, Year 8 is going to return to school on Thursday the 11th of March. Okay? 
If you've consented for the test, this is what your test times are going to be. If you've not consented, you still come in at these times. So if you are in form 8D1 and 8D2, you need to come to school at 8.40 on Thursday the 11th of March. If you are in 8D3, 8D4 and 8H1, you need to come at 9.40. You need to come to the front of school, okay? Come to the front entrance at the green gates. If you're in 8H2 and 8H3, you arrive at 10.40. If you are in 8H4, 8S1 and 8S2, you arrive at 11.40. And if you are in 8S3 and 8S4, you will arrive at 10 past 1. So, arrive to school on time in the allocated time slot for your tutor group. So, you need to be here at 8.40, 9.40, 10.40, 11.40 or 10 past 1, depending which form you are in. You need to make your way through those green gates on the right-hand side of school, which takes you straight into the yard. Transition on the right side, down the ramp and across the playground all the way through to the sports hall and that is where testing is going to take place in the sports hall. If you've consented for a test, you will take your test there. If you have not consented and you're not having the test, you will just wait in that area until your form group is done. Okay, so that is the time slot you need to arrive and that is the information about that. Okay, testing then. On your return to Watertrade Academy, we request that you be tested, okay? Permission has been sent out, so you need to return those permission slips, please. Why is it important then? Testing plays a key role in our efforts to contain the COVID-19 pandemic by identifying infected individuals to help prevent further person-to-person -person transmission. Being tested for COVID will help limit the spread to your family, to others in the community and decrease the potential of your loved ones becoming critically ill okay so the reason we do it is to keep you safe it's to keep your family safe and it is to keep the school community safe that is the reason we are doing this testing okay to keep everybody safe and try to stop all of this so what does a negative test mean a negative test result means that the virus that causes COVID was not detected on you from that collected specimen at the time. So when you do the throb at the throat and the nose, you did not have the virus at that time. This does not mean, though, that you are OK to ignore government guidance and stop remaining safe. OK, we have a school. I've got routines and expectations that you will follow. OK, so just because you get a negative test does not, not mean that you are safe and you are free um, from the virus completely and you can go and do whatever you want. You will still need to keep that two metre distance. You will still need to keep your face mask on. You will still need to stay in your bubbles. OK, that does not mean you can just go out and do whatever you want because you've got a negative test. It's very important that you understand that year eight. OK. Just going back to this reading, I know you've seen this every single time, every single day. So whilst waiting for your test result, please bring in your reading book ready to read. So you must have a reading book in your bag at all times, year eight, okay? It's very important that you bring a reading book with you. It improves your reading age, your reading speed, your level of understanding and ability to interpret and respond to information, as well as improving attention, improving concentration and becoming better learners. So, measures to keep you safe. You already know this. Our buildings lay out, obviously, dead, dead easy to use. We've got different floors, different areas. You, as a year eight, are on the second floor. We already know that's the same. Oh, you came in in September. We are going to be on that second floor. We are going to be in S1 all the way around to S12. Nothing has changed, though, okay? We are in our zone with our own entrance, our own exits, and our own toilets. The only difference is on that first day when you come in in them time slots, you come in through the green gate. And then on, as a, after that, you will just return through staircase B like we always do. Right. Measures to keep you safe then. Face masks. Just like our previous return to school in the first lockdown, face masks is, a, is a, an effective way of stopping the spread. Face masks are to be worn at all times by every person. Okay. 
unless you have got a medical exemption, which means you've got medical evidence from the doctors, from your GP, from the hospital, that you cannot wear one. And we are phoning parents to make sure that is the case with people who were exempt before Christmas. You need to have a plain blue or black face mask on. You need to make sure that you have got enough face masks because you have got to wear one at all times. Now, this is the government change year eight. When you are in the classroom, you need to wear your face mask, okay? You have got to wear it sat in class. You've got to wear it on the corridor. You have got to wear it transitioning. The only time you can take off your mask is when you are outside, okay? Now, remember, this is for your safety, for your family's safety, and for our school community safety. So that is the important change. You need your face mask on at all times. Okay, just going through this as well. So measures to keep you safe, cleaning your hands. We're going to still sanitise on the way into school, okay? We're going to sanitise your hands. You're going to sanitise your hands on your way into every single classroom and on the way out. You're going to wash your hands after you've been to the toilets. You're going to wash your hands before you have your lunches. So you're just going to use those to keep safe. We've been doing that all along anyway, so you know that. And you know that the school gets cleaned Daily, in between lessons, the cleaners come round cleaning all the door handles and so on and so on, so you know that the school is safe. Uniform expectations then. So, obviously before Christmas, you was coming in with a coat and you was able to wear them in some of your lessons. So what we're going to say to you now is that you are not allowed to wear a coat, jumper, hoodie at all when you are in the building okay no hoodies are allowed to come to school no jumpers are allowed to come to school unless it is a waterhead academy jumper you cannot bring a hoodie into school and have it on okay not acceptable you can bring a coat and you can carry your coat with you <clears throat> okay so if you need a coat to walk to school that is absolutely fine you carry it with you and obviously you would then when you get in school you take it off carry it when you're in lessons, if the classroom is really cold, okay, you can ask your teacher if you can put your outdoor coat on. Not an hoodie, not a jumper, your outdoor coat. Like you can see in the picture on the right hand side there, that is an outdoor coat, not a zip up hoodie, okay? If the teacher says yes, then that is fair enough if that lesson is cold. If the teacher says no, the classroom is fine, then you do not wear your coat inside the classroom. You need to make sure that this you are following these expectations. This is going to be an expectation from the first day you come in. If you've got a jumper or an hoodie, me and Mr. Small or your teachers will be confiscating them. You can have them back at the end of the day. You can only bring your outdoor coat or you can obviously wear your Water Academy jumper. I hope you all understand that, Year 8. Okay. Uniform and PE kit, you must wear full uniform at all times, including your blazer and tie. This is the same as last time, same as before Christmas. If you're wearing your PE kit, it's got to be your Waterhead Academy PE kit with your blue top, your tracksuit pants and so on. Obviously, if it is cold, you can wear a long sleeve t-shirt underneath your blue top, but you cannot wear a hoodie. You cannot bring a hoodie to school, okay? Your long sleeve top can be worn underneath your top. And then if, you're, if it's a cold day, put your blazer on over the top of your PE uh, uh, kit. If you bring a coat in over the top of your PE kit, that is fine. But in school, you will have to carry your coat. So if it's cold in school and you've not brought your blazer, you will not be able to wear your coat. You will have to carry it. So make sure that you understand that and you bring in your blazer if it is a cold day or you wear a long sleeve top underneath your T-shirt. Okay, uniform. Blazers on, black trousers, black skirt to knee length, unfitted, shirt tucked in, top button done up, tie to the full length with your Waterhead Academy logo showing and black leather shoes. You will not be wearing trainers. If you come in in trainers on these first few days back, we will be contacting home straight away. We will be asking why have you got trainers on. You will then obviously need to sort that out the day after. You cannot wear trainers to school year eight. Okay, PE kit expectations, water PE top, obviously the zip up top or the long sleeve top that you can buy with it as well. You've got your shorts or your tracksuit bottoms which are black or blue. 
Um, and then obviously suitable trainers. And again, long sleeve tops can be worn underneath as long as they are black or blue and they have not got a hoodie on, okay? So your school day, very similar, but just a few slight changes. So year eight, as you can see, there is no more five minute transitions between each lesson. That's because we're in the, in the zone and we're in the area in the second floor. You do not need five minutes to get from S1 to S5. You are on that area. You take 30 seconds to walk across. You need to make sure that you transition to your lessons with purpose because it is important that you, you get there and you line up outside of your lesson. As you can see, the year eight and year nine lunch, where you had a split lunch in between period four, has now changed. You have your period three lesson, then you will go for your lunch, then after your lunch, you will then go to your period four. So your lunch has been brought forward 10 minutes earlier, so you are not having a split lesson. That means then that it's a little bit easier and that we're not having a lesson being disrupted through lunch. So after period three, you'll go to lunch, you'll come back, and then you'll have the whole of period four. Now, on a Friday, you are going to follow this timetable as well. You're not going to change anything on a Friday. You're going to have your lunch at, in between period three and four. You're going to have your break in between two and three. So that is the timetable for Friday, with the only exception on a Friday, you do not have lesson six. So your timetable and the timings of your lessons will stay exactly the same every single day. Only difference on a Friday is you finish after period five at two o'clock. That is it. Right, any concerns that you may have about your return to school um, year eight, what I would like you to do if you do have any concerns, you can message me on Teams. You know where I am on, my, on Microsoft Teams if you want to message me. You can also go to the school website and obviously on that school website, there's the year group, year eight. You can click on report a concern and you can put whatever concern you may have and that will come straight through to me. Okay, this is confidential and nothing will be shown with anybody else. So if you report a concern to your teachers, see the email sent to your parents and follow the link and click on this link from the newsletter that you can see there as well, okay? And there are all the people in this PowerPoint who you can speak with. You've got all the safeguarding team, you've got your assistant head of year, and you've got your head of year and your educational welfare officers. Right, before I just go on to this, I just want to make it clear to you, Year 8. So... We are returning on Thursday, the 11th of March, on your different time slots, okay? You need to make sure you come in on them time slots and you come to the green gate at the front of school. You come in full school uniform. You make sure you have a face mask. Everybody needs to have their face mask on. And once you have then gone into that area and had your test, you will return to your normal lessons. Right, let's celebrate. So... Water Ed Academy Year 8 Lockdown Legends for this for last week. Sorry, let's have a look at you. So, English we had Kashaf in AS3. Well done for amazing efforts in lockdown and always putting 100% into her work. We had in EAL was Zenab in 8D1. Consistently produces excellent work and keeps on top of it. In maths we had Zara showing a fantastic attitude and ending in top quality work. In science, we had Karat completing all of her assignments this week, making excellent contributions to live lessons. We have Travis uh, trying hard in all of his lessons in modern foreign languages. Geography, we have Ali in 8D1 engaging all geography lessons and has consistently sent in high quality of work. History, we have Lewis engaging every history lesson on the teams, is always keen to answer questions and has sent in some great work. Religious studies, so ethics, we've got Amna in ATS2, excellent engagement and attitude. And then PE, we've got Madeline in AH4, excellent engagement in the home workouts. We've got music and Miriam in ATS1, continued commitment and good work. We've got food technology, we've got Harry in AH4, amazing sharing of knowledge about fur trade goods. Enterprise, we've got Tyler in AH1, attended sessions and done the work required. Right, okay, yeah, I just want to say a massive well done to all of those pupils who was at Knowledge last week. Massive well done to you, submitting lots of great work, so excellent. What I want to just say is remember that we will adapt and make this work. We have the students, parents, carers and the staff to make sure you are all supported when you get back on track. 
Let's, lots of you haven't been off track, you just haven't been in school. And I cannot wait to get you back in school on Thursday the 11th of March to speak to you all, to make sure you've all been okay. And to obviously get you back in lessons, get you back in front of your teachers. Remember, I expect the highest of expectations when you come back in on that Thursday year eight. You're going to come in in full school uniform, uh, school shoes on, bags, all your equipment. Make sure you've got two black pens, two red pens, pencil, rubber, ruler, sharpener, everything you need for your day, okay? You've got your school bag with you, so make sure you are prepared and you are ready to come back next Thursday. Look after yourselves until then, year eight, and I will see you next week.